<laughs> We're going to WKLZ. WKLZ. <laughs> <laughs> He smells. I to go potty. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are outside the radio station. We're waiting for Chris Maxter Bader. And that vehicle over there belongs to Micah Waka Waka Waka. Oh, I don't think I can get... <laughs> you can kind of see it. It's really dark. Well, but, he's right there in Studio A. You could film him. Oh. <laughs> And then for your viewing pleasure, there's Michael Walk. It'd be funny if you walk all the way up to the window with the camera. <laughs> no, I won't do that. We're going to the, the place. About halfway through the show. Okay. But I will definitely get them on. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, so uh, Steven. calling for my boyfriend's band. <laughs> yeah, it's, that, that's a lot of it. So uh, the first one I'm gonna play from you guys is Admiral Ackbar because that's like the newest one that I'm playing. Okay. Uh, which one would you like to go to? Apron of intern flesh. <laughs> Fetus from Grim. That's cool. Do we need our headphones on? If you want to hear yourself talk. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not that pretentious. That's right, bitches. Sunday night, 92.7 WQLZ, The Rock Station. I am Shaggy. This hey! is Vanderbilt. As you can hear, we've got the world's oldest intern. Sasquatch finally <laughs> back from his little trek out in the woods. Been mating wa- season. Wa- mate, mating season. <laughs> uh, great uh, Illinois Central Midwest. Yeah, we set the woods so, on fire again. <laughs> <laughs> More information than I want to know. <laughs> we set the woods on fire. <laughs> this is Bandemonium, one hour dedicated to local music in and around the world. If you are one of the local bands and you want to hear your music on the show, you're going to have to get it to me. 1510 North 3rd Street, Riverton, Illinois, 62561. Attention Shaggy. You can find us on Facebook, Bandemonium on 92.7 WQLZ. You can check out the Bandemonium page at WQLZ.com. Yeah, that, right. I, I think that covers all the online places to find us. Right. Of course, that. you know, we do this show each and every Sunday night, 10 p.m., right here on the Rock Station. Being joined in studio tonight, got Springfield Rockers, Dog of Panic. Yeah. 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 We can, like, take lap, a lap around the room. You can, you know, introduce yourself and what oh. you do in the band. Oh, I thought we were actually going to get to run. <laughs> yeah. oh. no. Well, if you want to run, knock yourself out. Oh. But don't get, don't get There's not much, room, not much room. <laughs> probably would. Yeah, it'd probably, probably be the shortest lap you ever ran. <laughs> <laughs> and I would still... <laughs> you you, you got to work on that conditioning, man. Yeah, it, <laughs> what what are you going to do when Dick Cheney goes hunting in... <laughs> next, next time during mating season? Dick Ch- it's not safe in the woods with Dick Cheney when he's got a gun. It's well, hopefully they'll be taking his driver's license away soon, and then and he Dick Cheney. They ain't doing nothing to him. <laughs> they'll try to take his license, and he's like, "Damn it, I'm Dick Cheney." That's hey, as long that, as you that was more Rick James. James. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rick James, Dad. <laughs> All right. So since, since they, uh, and I mean, we're back. <laughs> I, I got the first song from this band a couple of years ago, actually. Oh yeah, and yeah. It, it it was before there was a band. It was actually just you, Dan, doing yeah. everything. Where you you recorded one and then layered everything over it. So it, overachiever. Since then, <laughs> the band has grown to be from just you to now it's a three piece. Mm-hmm. How'd everything come together? I mean, uh, what, was it one of the what, was it one of those really daunting tasks to get the band together? It, it, was it something where you was at, like out there pounding the pavement every day trying to find people? Uh, well, or did you just put out a couple notices and as people started tri- trickling in, you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you'll work in my band. It was it was actually really difficult. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, you, you hear a whole bunch of horror stories about Craigslist, but if you're in a band, you're a musician, it's probably the best thing to find other musicians. And that's how I found Jason. We started uh, we started jamming. Uh, what? We started two? talking. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we both put ads on Craigslist, and um, yeah. we were both just tired of looking for people who were serious enough to play music and want to play out and, and have the time to practice. And 
we both clicked and uh, kind of just started writing music instantly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's always easier to find people that can go through the motions. Yeah. But to find find the people that are really dedicated about making something work, that, that can always be, you're digging a little bit deeper to find yeah. those people. It's um, it, it was tough. And then, uh, well, with uh, Chris, like, it was really, well, he was what, you you were the third, fifth, and seventh? I, I'm the third, the third fifth, fifth, and seventh, seventh bass player. It's, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like... Uh, <laughs> He's it's kind of like ball. Spinal Tap when they kept going through drummers and everything. And, um, you didn't make the cut this week. Right, right. <laughs> Don't talk to me at band practice. No, um, and that's my mic, Sand. <laughs> right, right. Well, I, it, no, we're always good friends and that sort of thing. Uh, Dan and I have known each other actually for quite a while. Uh, we jammed in high school and our each other's garages and stuff and had a lot of mutual friends and, and that sort of thing. We kind of fell out of contact for a while and then ran into each other at... Marley's, I think it was. I was playing bass for Joe Fru at the time. And uh, then he brought his band, Dog of Panic, out to an open mic I was running at the Planet and uh, had a different bass player at the time and that sort of thing. And, and then asked to see if I wanted to fill the spot. And, and the rest was kind of history. Yeah. So, the rest is history. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Dan and I have been jamming together for a very long time. Very long time. Musical incest, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have, well, you have to. not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Springfield, you don't lose your bandmate, you lose your turn. There's, you know, there's, so, there's so few musicians. Yeah. It, 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 that, that's one of the surprising things, because uh, it, it was actually just a little less than a year ago. If you, w if you got onto Facebook or for the bands that were still using MySpace, it seemed like every other Springfield band was looking for a bassist. Yeah, sure. It's like bassist is the one position in the shortest <laughs> supply in yeah. the city. It means you might need to learn bass just in case. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's why yeah. I bought a bass. <laughs> oh, yeah. and, you know, I, I have absolutely no realistic as aspirations of yeah. doing anything, but it's like, well, you know, yeah. you never know what could happen. It, yeah, exactly. if you play bass, you'll always have a gig. You will always have a gig. And they're they're you know, always the bastard forgotten member of the band, too. <laughs> they are. I mean, they, they, in every project I've been in, because I'm primarily a guitar player, um, you know, like I guess a lot of bass players, but every project I've been in, we've gone through bass players like Kleenex. <laughs> and even when I was a bass player, I was gone through like Kleenex. You know, it's just, it's just, there's this turnover rate. But, you know, uh, everything seems to, you know, settle out and work its way out. And, and uh, it, it all goes well. You know, I, th I think we've we found a pretty good chemistry and a pretty good mix. Yeah. So. And we love to have fun together. We actually, other than being in the band, we all hang out as friends, and we we do a lot together and support other local musicians together, and that's what it's all about. I hate fun. <laughs> <laughs> fun. What's that? I don't like. It. <laughs> we'll have more with Dog Panic invited. as the show rolls on, but uh, well, since we're talking with them, let's hear something from them. This is Admiral Akbar. This is Pandemonium on QLZ. <laughs> Decatur's very own icon for hire that is off with their head here on Bandemonium 92.7 WQLZ. If you haven't heard those guys, going to be in town May 10th opening up for Hailstorm and Theory of a Dead Man. Tickets on sale now. It's like 19 bucks plus the Ticketmaster service charge. You can't go wrong for that price. <laughs> that, that, that's a big one. And this, this is like the first big show that Icon's going to be doing since being signed with Tooth and Nail. So they're, they're, I, I think I'm a little more excited about Icon than anybody else because oh, uh, I, I was told I was going to be taking over Bandemonium. I put out the call for new music. That's the first CD that showed up. And they're the first band from, you know, first Bandemonium band to actually be signed to a major label. It's like you and, gave and, them your and, that, and that's going yeah. back all the way to, you know, before I even started doing this. Because, yeah. you know, even back in the day, Mudvayne couldn't get airplay on Bandemonium <laughs> because wow. the host at that time was like, I ain't playing no damn metal bands. <laughs> <laughs> Got Dog of Panic out of Springfield hanging out here in the studio with us. Now, Hello. Say, saying local rock band is just kind of generic. But yeah. I, trying to get somebody to pigeonhole their, their band into a specific genre is really not really my thing. But 
Would you say you're more just like the new modern rock, or would you uh, just say you're rock? Ever heard of Spice Girls? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Who? We do a pretty good Insane cover, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, Grim, Grim does a good uh, Billy Jean. That, that's true, though. I would actually be less embarrassed to play Billy Jean than Insync. But <laughs> uh, as far as our genre goes, it's uh, as long really as you're saying. Bye bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we'd have to we'd have to highlight our hair and everything and learn yeah. dance moves. It's just too much work, you know. <laughs> but, uh, Except for Joey, the fat one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he <laughs> even had highlights. <laughs> no, I mean seriously, the, his name was Fatone, fat one, <laughs> <laughs> fat one. Well, maybe that's that's how he spelled it: F A T O N E. Marketing ploy, damn it! Well, well, <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> so you're. Uh, let, let, let's talk a little bit about your songwriting process. Okay. Is, it, is it like a group collective effort, uh, or is it really? I, I mean, it, do you do most of the writing, Dan, or uh, do the other guys come in and sometimes be like, "Hey, man, I wrote part of a song." Well, it's kind of it's kind of interesting in the way that I've I'm pretty much in my room playing guitar all the time. I'll be watching like history channel with my acoustic like just all the time playing playing acoustic and all like today tonight i'm like jason i got a cd with nine songs that i recorded i'm like that i want you to hear and see and but one thing that i've learned now that i'm in a band and not just writing by myself is that they have a lot of good ideas too and they're <laughs> <laughs> wow, so damn! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. there, there are yeah. bands that have started yeah. Signed with a major label, made it big, you know, big international superstardom, yeah. and then broken up just because the people in the band couldn't learn that one lesson. Yeah, uh -huh. it's true. It really is. And, well, honestly, it was, it's a hard lesson to learn, but at the same time, you know. You just had to let you learn it on your own. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I was like, well, I'm, I'm the songwriter. I'm, I'm important and everything. But the thing is, like, they're like, well, let's just try jamming a little bit and, Jason came up with a drum beat the other day, and then um, Chris laid down a bass line in A, and then we just we we made a song, and it sounded great. It it, it was perfect. It, and, and completely painless. <laughs> <laughs> so, cur currently, right yeah. now, you have Take a 37. twelve <laughs> track, say demo disc. Yeah. Is, is that available anywhere? You, somebody wants to get a copy of it. Yeah. Per day? Yeah. And how how do they go about getting that? Well, they could either go to our show. Um, right now, we're, you know, it's pretty much all DIY for us. Um, I we pretty much make burnt discs, and we, it's you know, it's demo quality, it obviously, but we'll sell them around like five bucks. I think you know, we we had such a good time. We play, played played uh, Fat Willies and Chatham, and everybody was so responsive. Like we just gave them away for free, you know. Um, online, you can get them right now on dogofpanic.bandcamp.com. And all the money goes straight to us. It's uh, you do it through PayPal, and Steve Jobs doesn't get a vacation out of the deal, so it's perfect. Take and that, Steve. That's right. <laughs> Cracking everybody. You know, you guys heard about that? The iPhone four. What's that? And the uh, iPad. And there's a there's a, uh -huh. Android's doing it too. Yeah. actually. The yeah. Google there, there's there's a program they they track every it, since June of last year. Anybody with an iPhone four or an iPad, it, there's wow. it, they've been tracked everywhere they go. Apple says they're not storing the data for anything at all. <laughs> sure. But, I mean, why collect it if it's not being used for something? Exactly. So, Steve, mm, you ain't pulling one over on me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's okay. Like, hey, the the, the Android program <laughs> on Android, there's a way to opt out of it on Android, and the only way you can opt out of it with uh, the Apple products is to actually, like, hack your product. Oh, wow. Which voids the warranty. Which yeah. voids the warranty. <laughs> you know, this, so. if we ever try and get an iTunes deal, like, this is going to come back to haunt us. You know, like... <laughs> well, and, no, you're, you're just sitting talking. I, I'm the one who really kind of yeah. scratching <laughs> on there. But, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. All right, now, just because you work mornings with Bishop, don't be sounding like Bishop. Oh, there's a conspiracy for everything. Not for everything, but most. Did you things hear there about is. the? Did you hear about the great Apple conspiracy? Hey, just because yeah, they're paranoid oranges. doesn't mean they're not out to get you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they just, they don't want. They're not out to get you. They're out to get your money. It, exactly. Out to get your information. Yeah. 
that they can sell to people. Yeah. So th those people can get your money. Okay, let, let's get back on track with some more local rock. We got uh, some more Dog of Panic coming at you. This tune is called Sounds Learning like to Overcome. Anything special you want people to know about this song? Uh, well, uh, this song, well, this is back when I was writing my own material. This is all my, my songs. Now we're starting to write together. Um, this song, I was in college. I was really depressed, and I, I, music was my outlet, and... Besides music, it was drinking, and this song is actually about me and my depression and using alcohol to self-medicate. Um, self-medicate, yeah. So that's one, something like that. <laughs> All right, guys, well, check it out. This is and Dog of Panic. The tune is that. Learning yeah. to Come. This is Bandemonium yeah. on QLZ. Springfield Rock Band with one of the funnest names in town, the Yippies. That is shattered. Yippie! Yay! It is Band Monday, 927 WQLZ. We do this show each and every Sunday night, 10 p.m., dedicated to local music in and around Springfield. Are you in a local band? Do you want your music heard? You got to get it to me, 1510 North 3rd Street, Riverton, Illinois, 62561. Attention Shaggy. Find us on Facebook, Bandamonium on 927 WQLZ. Hanging out with Dog and Panic in the studio tonight. You guys yeah. got some upcoming shows? Oh, yeah, actually. Where, where, where can people get out and see Dog of Panic live? Where they can see Dog of Panic live? Uh, well, uh, next Friday we are going to be playing at Crow's Mill Pub. It's the old bootleggers on Toronto Road right across from Capillaria Career Center. Oh, okay. And we're going to be the first man in the beer garden. Um, I don't know how I worked it out. Uh, I, I'm the cook there, and I pretty much beg my bosses to let let us play. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes, right? Yeah. And then uh, Sunday, we are going to be, Sunday, May 1st, we're going to be in Decatur at the Cornerstone Tavern Tent Fest with a whole bunch of bands, I think. And it's going on all weekend. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. I think Jody Boss is going to be there. Uh, it's uh, Jessica Jolly. I think she might have been on... Jessica Jolly is going to be on. Ashley Riley is going to be there. She's great. She's got a gorgeous voice. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I think some other singer songwriters as well. And then us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw up. Mix of all that. It's really, it's really going to be great. It's going to be a very uh, a wide variety of yeah. music there. It's good. That's really good. <laughs> it's what we like. The spice of life. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's always good to change things up every now and then. Speaking yeah. of changing things up on the other side of the break, I've got a brand new band uh -oh. to the local scene. I mean, it, it, the people in the band are no strangers to the local scene. It's actually a new six-man band out of Jacksonville. Got past members from Lethal Dose, Abortivist Cadaver, Zero Ego, and Jacked Up. You want to hear it, you're going to have to wait. It's coming up right after this. It is Bandemonium that on sucks. QLZ. <laughs> <laughs> seems to Music from Since the out. Awakening. Oh, the tune is the really? counterfeit so, uh, here on Bandemonium on 92.7 WQLZ. We do this show each and every Sunday night dedicated to local music in and around Springfield. We've got local rock band Dog of Panic hanging out in the studio with us tonight. Yo, yo. Uh, yeah. 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 Yay! <laughs> My microphone's Yay! on so the band can get all quiet. <laughs> People can hear me. <laughs> zombie I'm Jesus. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Happy Zombie Jesus Day, by the way. Happy Zombie Jesus Day. Rabbits don't lay eggs. What is this? <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I asked my mom that when I was four years old, uh -huh. and I guess she didn't like the tone of voice that I asked her. In. I got that magical mom backhand. Yeah. I just quit trying to figure out. It just totally makes sense, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, all right, it's it's just another thing, you know. Like, how does the whole uh, birth of Christ relate to a fat man in a red suit coming down my chimney? <laughs> oh. that, I don't get that one either. But anyway. what, did ever, what did Jesus ever do for Santa's birthday? Anyway? <laughs> really, <laughs> right? Just a card. It's just, great. just a card. Don't even Walmart. get me started. On <laughs> <laughs> I was force fed that crap since I was. Until age of 15. Since Don't the Awakening is a new band here in our area. It's actually made up of former members from Lethal Dose, Abortivist Cadaver, Zero Ego, and Jacked Up. Six man band. Got a pretty good sound. Let me know what you thought of it. Shaggy at WQLZ.com or you can call me. I'm still here in the studio, 629 8200. Coming up, we still got the top three. I got some new stuff from Dysfunctional Family coming, but right now, Let's do a double shot of Dog of Panic. We're going to kick, thing, kick things shot. off. This is the first <laughs> Dog of Panic song I ever played. Ooh. This is actually the new version with the full band, not just Dan layering things over. This is Long Live America. It's Bandemonium on QLZ. <laughs> <Dan. laughs> 
Fog of panic that is lysergic here on Bandemonium 92.7 WQLZ. Got Dog of Panic hanging out in the studio with us tonight. How's it going, guys? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, girl, hey. Hello, hello. You walking or working? Go here. Hello, hello. Excuse me, sweet thing, but can I buy you a fish sandwich? Your lipstick is so bright and orange tonight. <laughs> oh, look, it's a lady. You never know what's going to happen when you have somebody live in the studio. So and, and that, that, that's part of the why it's so much fun to have somebody that a live weave? in the studio. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Girl. Do you want the opportunity to come hang out in the studio, get some shameless self-promotion for your band? Get a hold of me, shaggy at wqlz.com. We can work something out. Get you in, play some music, talk about some upcoming shows. We call it shameless self-promotion. That's right. Dog of Panic taking advantage of that this week. We're pretty shameless, yeah. <laughs> Facebook.com okay. slash Dog of Panic. Advertisement. <laughs> it, that, that's what it's yeah. all about. And uh, the one, the truest thing that I can tell anybody, no matter how long, if you're just starting a band, if you've been in the band for 10 years, if you're not willing to be shameless for your band, yeah. why should anybody else? Exactly. Absolutely. Hey, look at this right here. You ain't <laughs> sure. oh. That is it. Yep. Wearing the if, dog of panic t shirt. You ain't shameless. If you ain't cheating, you, you ain't, ain't trying. trying. That's yeah. right. All we have left in the program this week is our top three. So uh, the next show, first mm -hmm. show coming up that people can get out and see Dog of Panic Live. Uh, uh, Crow's Mill Cro Pub. There we go. Crow's Mill Pub. Friday. Uh, Toronto Road. It's the old bootleggers. Uh, it's new management. It's a lot cleaner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's outdoors, everybody. This is yeah. gonna be our first it's, outdoor it's show that of the time season. Of year. Yeah, yes. it's that time of year. They got it's beautiful. It's it's beautiful. <laughs> they got a beer garden uh, with bags, tournaments, and horseshoes, and all that good stuff. I think they even have a fire pit. Eight yeah, is that what? It Eight o'clock. Yeah, Eight o'clock. yeah, with a uh, fire pit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bags, tournament. So it, it, bags. Uh, you've never played yeah, bags. The, the little bean bags that you toss. Kind of, oh, it, that's it, toss it, across. It's, it, it's a it, <laughs> no. It's an adult version of that. Oh. It's an adult version of that where you got to try and get the bean bag in the little hole. <laughs> there's beer involved. Oh, okay. Yeah, there, there's beer involved and no hair. Okay. <laughs> You'd well, be lost. You know. Hey. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's get to the top oh, three, shall involved. we? Yeah. That's a good idea. Let's do some music. Okay, well, back, back in the top three, after a few weeks out, out of Pawnee, this is Violent Ascension. Remember, yeah. violence is not the answer. Violence is the question. The answer is yes. <laughs> Say no to violins. Hail red. <laughs> but that is brand new music from Dysfunctional Family that is scarred here on Bandemonium 92.7 WQLZ. We got one song left and the show's over. I want to say thanks to Dog of Panic. Thank you. Come out and yeah, hang out with us this week. Do a little shameless self-promotion for your band. Shameless. That's take, what it was. <laughs> take, take advantage of the platforms when they're given because, oh, yeah. you know, there are bigger markets than our little Springfield <gasps> area yeah. where no. those really? radio stations <laughs> don't that. give a rat's ass about their local music oh, no. scene. No, no, and, no, no. and, you know, and you try to bring it up to them, they're like, yeah, so... Who cares? It doesn't matter, does? So well, how much every money band, from it? every band <laughs> was a local band yeah, at absolutely. one point. Mm -hmm. I mean, the biggest bands out there right now they, started out playing all the dive bars yeah. in their hometown. And they probably played to three people. You know, everybody's yeah. been there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's a sellout show if you count family, family and friends. <laughs> exactly. You're doing a great thing, man. And supporting local music, and I mean. You know, we're all out there being shameless, working hard, trying to get shows, trying to get people out because, you know, we really love what we're doing. And, you know, support us, please. And support the venues. Because you that's, if you don't have the venues, the we venue. have no place to play. Yeah. So that, that is the biggest thing. There, that's what happened to the planet. There's been a very uh, tragic and severe loss of venues over mm -hmm. the last year and a half. Oh, yeah. Totally agree. Mm -hmm. The planet was a sad loss and for all of us. Oh, the saddest. Yeah, I, I mean, there, there's been other venues that have come and gone, but the planet was really. You remember the asylum back in Wabash? Yeah. Oh man, mm -hmm. that was that, that that's going back some ways. But I mean, yeah. you, you, even yeah. setting the wayback machine and going back, you yeah. know, yeah. a decade. 
yeah. the planet has really a, always sort of been at the centerpiece of yeah. what our local music scene was, and now it's gone. Yeah. And, you know, there, there's no shortage of bands looking for places to play. There's just a shortage of venue owners going, yeah, come on and play here. Well, can you play some covers? Can you? <laughs> right. <laughs> Every bar owner wants covers. Yeah. Well, we want to play dance girl? music the last hour. <laughs> <laughs> Freebird, Freebird, come on. Freebird, woo! <laughs> there, there's always one person, yeah. right? Oh, there's yeah. always one. Or stairway. <laughs> No, we need more cowbell. <laughs> more cowbell, more cowbell. I tell you, gotta have the cowbell. I got a fever. <laughs> All the prescription. You can never have enough There's cowbell. More cowbell. More cowbell. <laughs> well, it is time to take a break. We will be right back with this week's number one here on Bandemonium. <laughs> 